In this series, I aim to give you a quick introduction to some of the plant families found in the UK. Learning to identify plant families is a great help in identifying individual plant species you come across. If you know the family, then you know where to start looking for the species in a guide. And identifying the family is an achievement in itself. Plants are classified into families based on characteristics that they share. This is then narrowed down further into genera and then into species. So, the way to identify a plant's family is to know these characteristic features. Today's family is the Malvaceae or Mallow family. This family is distributed worldwide, but has its greatest level of diversity in the tropics, particularly of the Americas. It contains approximately 4,200 species. They grow as herbaceous plants, shrubs and trees, as annuals, biennials and perennials. The Malvaceae has great economic importance, with Gossypium, which is cotton, Diabroma cacao, which is chocolate, and Ciba pentandra, capoc, all being in this family. Several species can be used medicinally due to the high levels of jelly-like mucilage contained in their tissues. Althea officinalis, the marshmallow, is an example. And yes, this is where the sweet is originally from too. Other Malvaceae provide fibres, wood and food. The tropical cola species, the cola nut, is chewed as a stimulant. And of course, there are the ornamentals, like Lavatera, Althea rosea, hollyhock, and hibiscus species. The species encountered in the UK are either herbaceous or shrubby, and are a mix of annuals, biennials, and perennials. Malvasi flowers are open, actinomorphic and often in shades of pink. They tend to be large and showy. They have five separate petals, which may be notched, and five sepals. The flowers possess an epicalyx, which looks like an extra ring of sepals beneath the calyx, and calyx is the collective term for the sepals. The stamens in the mallow family are fused into a tube shape around the style. This tube is joined to the base of the sepals. The ovary is superior, meaning it's attached above the rest of the floral parts. This ovary becomes a dry capsule or schizocarp, which is a dry fruit that breaks into segments. The leaves of Malvaceae are simple, meaning they're undivided, but they're usually palmately lobed with palmate veins. This malva demonstrates the palmate shape, with the lobes and veins radiating out from the leaf base. At the base of the leaf stalk, there are stipules, paired leaf-like structures. The leaves are arranged alternately on the stems, and the leaves and stems often possess hairs on their surface, making them downy. So, if your plant has large, pink flowers, with five petals and five sepals, with stamens joined into a tube, an epicalyx, dry fruits that open or split, and alternate downy palmate leaves with stipules, try looking them up in the Malvaceae section of a field guide. See if you can find any of these species when you're out and about. Malva sylvestris, the common mallow. Reasonably low growing, with dark veins on its pink flowers. Malva muscata, the musk mallow, which has greatly dissected leaves. And Lavatera arborea, the tree mallow, a tall, woody-based plant, also with dark veins in its flowers. <laughs> 